Let's talk about tags. Now the statements that you put into your HTML code are known as tags. These tags say something about the text and images you include in your web page. Let's take a look at the slideshow. Every web page has to tell the web browser that it is a web page. The way that it does this is it begins and ends with an HTML tag. Tags are always enclosed in angle brackets. You can call them a less than and a greater than sign if you wish. But they're angle brackets. This first one, HTML, would be at the beginning of your page to say, hey browser, I'm a web page. And then the second one would tell it, I'm done. End tags always begin with a forward slash. Now a web page consists of two parts, a header and a body. The header begins with a head tag and ends with an off head tag. You can think of these as start and stop, begin and end, however you wish to think of it. Okay? Now, in the header, we put things that we want the web search engines to pick up on so that we will get greater visibility out of our web page. More about that later on. Our next tag is another toggle tag on and off, the body. The body contains everything that will show up on your web page. It begins with a body tag and ends with a slash body tag or a forward slash body tag. Within your body, you're likely to have text that are headings. There are six sizes of headings. One is the largest, six is the smallest. If I want the largest size heading, I would use this tag, H1, for heading size 1. I have to turn it on and turn it off. So it's another toggle tag. All the text between these two would be very large. Most of the text on my web page, and yours too, is going to be in the form of paragraphs. We begin and end the paragraphs with these two tags, or this tag pair. Now, the P, by the way, is what we would call an element. An element is what we are defining or changing. In this case, we would be defining the beginning and ending of a paragraph. Now, not all tags are toggle tags, but all tags have to be turned off. In this case, we have an image tag. And we are going to display an image, and the image is that file name, w3schools.jpg. But we have to turn this tag off. So if you notice, just before the lat closing angle bracket, there's our forward slash. That turns off the empty tag. They're empty tags because they don't have a turn off tag. So we turn them off inside the original tag. That's all for now. Have fun.